Do US expats pay taxes? Mm, this is a trick question. This video is for US expats who want to know more about US expat deadlines, filing expectations, affordable expat tax services, and what to do if you've never filed a tax return. You know, just the fun stuff. What's up everyone, it's Vanessa MW from Wander Onwards. And on this channel, we learn how to make money and moves abroad so we can chase location and financial independence. This week, we're talking about taxes. Do US expats pay taxes? Mm, this is a trick question. Not only do US expats have to pay tax in the country that they're residing in, but they're also responsible for filing taxes back at home. Ugh. As specified by the IRS, if you are a US citizen or green card holder residing outside of America, your worldwide income is subject to US tax, regardless of where you live. Ugh. But filing taxes and paying taxes are two different things. Yes, you need to file taxes every year, but different exclusions and ways of filing could potentially exclude you from paying taxes in America. My accountant promises. In a previous video, I dove deep into some of the expat tax mistakes that are commonly made. So if you haven't seen that one, I'll link it down below in the comments. In this video, we're gonna cover expat tax basics, tax deadlines, what to do if you've never filed taxes before, and how to file your own taxes using the My Expat Taxes service. So this is actually a sponsored cooperation with My Expat Taxes, but nevertheless, all of the opinions are of my own volition, and I'll be providing honest feedback and information. But before I continue, I want to remind everyone that this is not tax, legal, or accounting advice. This is purely for informational purposes and my expat taxes services has double checked all this information. Be sure to do your own research after listening to this informational material. US expat tax basics. There are two main things that the US government wants to know. Your income abroad, and your wealth abroad. You can use the Foreign Earned Income Exclusion, or the FEIE, to exclude a certain amount of your foreign income from US tax. And then you can use the two forms known as the FBAR, or the Foreign Bank Account Report, and the FATCA, the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, to report your foreign bank accounts or any interest or capital gains made in that financial year. As an expat, you are expected to file taxes every single year by June 15th. The FBAR has an automatic extension until October 15th. Let's talk about deadlines. So something that was news to me is the fact that June 15th is actually the expat deadline for taxes. That's because if you live outside of the United States, you are eligible for an automatic extension until June 15th, according to the IRS. This is really helpful because different countries work on different financial year timelines and you might not get your materials in time. If you need more time to file your taxes as a US expat, you can actually file for an extension. It's totally free. This grants you enough time to file your taxes for the October 15th deadline. Which brings us to our next deadline, October 15th. This is the extension filing deadline. It's also the final date for you to file your FBAR forms. December 15th. If it's absolutely necessary, you can actually file an extension from October into December 15th. The IRS will give you an additional two months, but you got to get your work done. If you're enjoying this video, cause it's about tax, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more free wealth and wanderlust content. Consequences for filing late taxes. Uh oh. Do not play with fire. You do not need an enemy out of the IRS. I've not had the pleasure of being audited just yet, but I know people who have. It's not something you want, uh, trust me. There are two main ways to make an enemy out of the IRS quite quickly. Failure to file and failure to pay. The penalties for these violations are typically a percentage of the unpaid tax that you owe, ranging anywhere from 0.5% to 5%. To 5%. <laughs> it's crazy. As you're already paying income tax in the country that you reside in, likely, unless you're in Dubai, the FEIE form will likely shield most of your income from additional taxation. Dodging the IRS is really not worth the headache. For more information on important deadlines and consequences, check out the My Expat Taxes link down below. Are you a US citizen? 
who's never filed taxes before? No. Don't panic. My expat taxes has a streamlined process that will walk you through the IRS amnesty program. This program has saved US citizens literally millions all over the world. In the My Expat Taxes streamlined service, you'll get to enjoy comprehensive tax support, personal support for the entire process, year-round coverage, a professional tax review plus consulting, tax forms certified by a tax professional, post-submission IRS tax support, and a free current year tax amendment as needed. Stay on the IRS's good side by filing the necessary paperwork. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorting out your tax standing with the IRS will literally lift a weight off of your shoulders. So don't be too afraid. Getting started with your US taxes. Starting the tax filing process with my expat taxes is super easy. You can actually access all of their software and fill out all the necessary documents without paying until you're ready to submit. I filled out all of my required details, verified my email, and then got started all under three minutes. First, I needed to establish whether or not I had actually filed taxes in the past. Then I identified the various countries I've lived in, and then I needed to state whether I used the FEIE form versus the foreign tax credit option in the past. There are different implications for both, so make sure you do your research. Based off of your unique answers, the My Expat Tax software will display different questions and filing requirements. This is because there are different tax implications for every country and circumstance. My Expat Taxes takes the confusion out of the process by adapting to your circumstances in real time. Next step, enter your specific circumstances. Once you've entered a bit about your personal details, then you need to deep dive into your current income situation. Add any dependents or family, does my cat count as a dependent? No, it does not. I've asked. <laughs> and finally, you need to highlight any nuances. Based on your answers, the My Expat Taxes technology will add or subtract additional steps and walk you through the end-to-end -end process. If you're self-employed, that's okay too. The My Expat Taxes technology will walk you through a self-employment questionnaire to ensure that your income isn't double taxed. I found that this was a particularly robust technology as it allows you to find tax deductions and extensions seamlessly. Once you've entered the foundational information necessary, the My Expat Taxes software will configure your experience based off of your feedback. In this video, you can see that the FBAR and FEIE process is straightforward and relatively painless. Then the technology will walk you through the deductions section so your entire financial situation is captured. I was able to go through the whole process in like under an hour, but I'm a little bit strange and I keep a year round account of all of my taxes, income and deductions. It's way better than anything I've ever seen on the market and way more affordable. My accountant budget is normally like a couple thousand. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. And the fact that this technology is so easy to use and so intuitive is such a great breakthrough in the whole expat experience. Get 10% off of your services today using my code WANDER. That's W-A-N-D-E-R. Like Wander Onwards. You can click on the link down below and it'll automatically apply that discount. So in conclusion, my final thoughts. Overall, this is the best and most affordable tax service for American expats that I've seen in my eight years of traveling. It's an intuitive system that is both user-friendly, personalized, and priced very affordably. I will add the caveat that I actually don't use the My Expat Tax Services only because I have a really complicated and specific tax circumstance. Guys, I have an announcement. For the first time in eight years abroad, I finally found a company that can handle all this woman and the crazy tax situation I've created for myself. Now remember, I have assets in three different countries, the United States, the UK, and Germany. So I've never found any company that can do all that under one roof. So when I originally recorded this video, I wasn't intending to actually use the software because I would rather pay thousands of dollars every year to have someone else 
do my taxes because that's just the type of person I am. And every single tax year, I would need to find separate accountants that understood the American tax system, the UK tax system, and then the German tax system. And it was a bloody nightmare. So I told this to the owner of my expat taxes, Natalie, and she said, I think we can do it, bet. <laughs> And so I took a free 15 minute consultation that's available for anyone interested in using my expat taxes and we figured it out. Guys, for the first time ever, I am bringing all of my tax information under one roof. This is incredible. This is gonna save me so much time. What am I gonna do with all this time? I should get a hobby. Nah, I'm gonna keep reading about tax. <laughs> now, if you're interested in using my expat taxes as an American expat abroad, go ahead and use my 10% off discount code, WANDER. Like, wander onwards, but just the wander. That's a little gift from me and my expat taxes to say, Thanks for being a supporter. If you have any questions about my expat taxes, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I always answer every single DM. Also check out the Instagram live that I did with the founder of my expat taxes, Natalie, who built this technology end to end based on her own struggles as an expat abroad trying to do her taxes. We talk about everything on that IG live, such as what to do if your partner is not American, do you have to report their income in the United States? What about being a digital nomad? Like, what does that tax situation look like? Come to my Instagram to check out the live. I promise you won't regret it. At the very least, it'll make you a lot less nervous about this whole process because you'll be able to see that you're not alone. Trust me, I've been an expat for eight years now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We got you. See you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and I appreciate it so, so much. Don't forget to come say hi on Wander Onwards on Instagram because that's where all the cool kids are. I post daily free content. I have loads of lives with other people that are chasing both wealth and wanderlust. And I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get notified about new videos every week.